Hello Yellow Jacket fans, this is Longest Day. We're going to do one more look here at the Vandy game. We have a two offensive series I think are going to be very interesting right before the, the Clemson game. Um, and I'd like to say this is better late than never. One last thing, remember we have uh, student athletes at Georgia Tech. They take real classes and uh, it's very difficult with classes, workout, film watch, um, then yet practice, you know, I salute our uh, student athletes, really. This is not meant to point out anything negative. It is meant to get people excited about what we do on, on offense. Okay, we'll go through this play, let you see what it looks like right here. Yeah, I'm snuffed out. All right, so let's, uh, let's see what happened. We'll see what, what blocks are, are going on and who we're optioning. Uh, you can see this guy is coming through, so this is one of our option people. And, of course, he's going to take the B-back. And so good read by J JT right there. Pulls it. The guy is obviously taking the B-back. Um, the next guy that we're going to option off is this guy. So, uh, of course, he is taking the A-back, so it's supposed to be a keep. And we run into two defenders, or at least one that slows us down enough, allows the other one to get there. So what is going on? Where are these two guys coming from? So we'll back up a little bit. And you can see it's these two guys right here. This is uh, similar to the Mike linebacker. Uh, we're going to see that against uh, Clemson, I'm sure. And if you, if you look, uh, Will has got this semi-Mike linebacker, just a little, it's a lot closer. So it's a little different lineup. You know, normally we'd see this guy over here, but we actually see him in the middle. So Will comes out, takes this guy. Does a good job of uh, keeping him where uh, where he's not supposed to be, and then we have this block going on right here, and we're just not able to um, close down the inside lane. You know, I see this a lot with the off tackles, and I've, I, you know, in 2014 it seemed like we got really good at you know the angle, and I'm not sure what the guys are trained to do or what, but they seem to go too deep. Um, Versus, you know, you standing in, in this alley right here would be much preferable than uh, where, where, where he than, than the alley he is right here. It, it could be perhaps that you know one is I don't I don't really know what I'm talking about. I'm just guessing here. And he's supposed to stop the lane to the outside, and he is ideally right there, you know, stopping the lane to the outside. So he's in perfect position if it's a pitch to the a back because this is where the uh, Mike linebacker would go to get to the A back. And if he wasn't, um, you know, stopped, that's, this is the perfect lineup. Now, what actually happens is this guy takes the A back. It forces the lane on the inside. And since the lane is on the inside, this guy is going to go to the inside. And you see, he gets by and he's there to stop JT. Now, this would be perfect position if he was going to the outside. Uh, which is what you'll see uh, Clemson do a lot. So he goes to the inside, uh, but that's not the actual guy who makes the first uh, or, or partial tackle. He's got an arm on his leg right there. It's this guy right here. It's the safety. And we just don't have a good angle on a safety, um, a safety that's coming inside. And, you know, I see him going to the outside. It looks like he's closing a lane too. And perhaps they're depending, uh, you know, for the pitch. They're playing the pitch, but in this case, this guy has the pitch, and so it really need to block on the inside. So it's just something interesting that I noticed, um, uh, you know, just by watching the video, and that you know how how the blocking and the angles of attack from the defenders changes as the pitch guy either takes the QB or the or the a back. So very interesting. All right, so, you know, were they in the right alleys to defend? Because they would have been in perfect position if we were going to pitch the ball. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's a lot harder to block if the quarterback's going to run because it's kind of a different angle you'd have to take to get to those guys. A little bit different than what we've seen. You know, this could be like a, a three, three man front and a, you know, linebacker stepped up you know, depending on how you want to look at this. So it really makes it difficult for me to understand who's supposed to be the uh, the uh, 
the option people. But as people say, so you can count the three, you should be able to figure that out. So we're going to see this play through. A little rocket toss, fake rocket toss, and we're going to throw it to Brad Stewart. A little high, just, just on the tips of his fingers right there. And he's going up the ladder to get it, too. So, um, you know, it's just a pass play. So we, we can look at the blocking. Um, the rocket toss right here. These guys are running forward, running forward. And right here, they start running back. So you, you've done your job right there. Um, this guy doesn't come too far forward. He, he reads this pretty quickly and, and is, takes a step back. But it allows Brad to blow right by him. Uh, looking at your blocking uh, right here, make sure this guy's not going to give to him. And, and we do uh, give uh, JT some time. Uh, looks like we're in a heavy battle right here. And uh, too, much, too much more time, and we would have pushed into the quarterback. Um, right here, got Divine doing a great job. What is this? Diedrich right here doing a great job. It looks like we have a dump off right here to, to Quay. And you can look right here, we have a blocker ready, ready to block for Quay. So if you threw it to Quay, you have a blocker. Uh, throw it. Dang. Oh, okay. So we're behind the sticks here. <laughs> Definitely uh, third and nine. Uh, no one should be really great at third and nine. Um, but let's see what happens here. We're going to play this play through. Let you see another pass play. It ends up being QP draw. All right. What do we see here? Um, pass blocking. We're going to look at that. Everybody's engaged. Looks like we lose contact right here. Have another guy to pick him up. This is only one, two, three, four. I expect to see more when Clemson. I think they're going to flood occasionally. Um, going to have to watch out for that. So is this designed for a run? Does JT just decide to run? Uh, you know, I, I can't, can't tell that. Um, right here, you know, just a little faster. This guy could get him. This guy comes out of his shoes right here. He's ready right there. Come, takes him out of his shoes. Um, I thought this was a very interesting right there. You know, right here. I, I'm worried about what's going on right here. But JT looks fine. Push that guy down. I think he does the right thing. Um, you know, I really can't see his view, what he's looking at. Um, but as far as, you know, he, he gets to the out of bounds right there, saves his body, does a great job. All right, I don't think it's going to show us any more. Yeah. Great, and continued blocking downfield. You can see he's looking where he's going to run, and he's got a blocker here, but there's a lot of people. Makes it to save his body, does a great job. I love that. Takes him out of his shoes right there. All right, keep on going. Okay, so we'll play this play through. You look, you see this Mike linebacker. You got this guy lined up in front of him. Normally, we'd see him on the outside, but you can see what what, what they've done is they kind of stepped this guy up. So it's almost like you have a three down lineman and you have a outside linebacker that stepped up. So let's see what this does. You can see obviously this guy's taking the V back. And uh, same as the last time, you know, very similar results as the last time we did it. So um, what do we got? What do we got? What's going on here? So we'll go through it. This guy's got linebacker. Great read by JT. Um, you can see right here, again, we're stopping this guy just like Will did last time. That's perfect. Now you got these two guys. If you remember, uh, we, we weren't able to stop the mic. And the mic goes to the inside again. This guy is your pitch man, and he's definitely taken the uh, the A back. Now, I, you know, I don't know what JT is, is seeing. I guess he's seeing that this guy is definitely way outside. And I do believe this is your pitch man. 
So he's way outside, so that's JT's key to go inside. So missing missing this block right here, because he's going on the inside. He's if he was headed out to the outside to get to the A back, that's the alley he would be in. This guy would be in perfect position. Since he's taking the inside alley right here, he's gonna be right there where JT is. And that's you know, JT's gonna do that when this guy's um on the outside. So it's it's kind of setting up a trap. It's a trap. Um, the, this guy is supposed to be blocked right here. So something just seems out of sync, and I think we'll get back to this in a later play, and uh, they actually fix it in the next drive. So down a distance, second and nine. Not great. We'll see what happens here. A lot of guys, one, two, three, four, five on the line, the two linebackers. We've seen this before. Nice, nice snap count stop. See if he jump off sides. All right. Let you see the play all the way through. Awesome. All right. So we can talk about the holding there. Um, Paul Johnson gave me an insight of what he thought the holding was. But, um, well, he didn't tell me personally. He said it on his radio show. So um, we'll see what happens here. So a lot of people on the line, cutting a lot of people down. JT's looking right here. This guy takes the B back. Perfect. This guy right here is kind of almost taking the B back too. It looks like JT could probably get around them. And he does. But he decides to go ahead and pitch the ball out. And he, and he does a good job there. Now, um, look at this guy back here. We'll see what's going on. We have two guys. And he's running to the inside to get away from the blocks. Very interesting. Looks like he thinks the B-back's getting the ball. So they were looking for some B-back dive there. Uh, so we pitched the ball out. And, of course, everybody's on the line. This guy goes in. So there is no one on the outside. Got a great little block going on right here. So um, you see that's our, our off tackle. Since there's no one for him to block, he goes out there and, and does a good job right there. Look at that. That's, uh, that's a great block right here. Just, uh, man, look at that. Takes him out. Um, that is one I missed. So excellent block. So we're going. Um, great job here. I love this. There's no, he doesn't put on the brakes. He doesn't, do, I mean, he's just running flat out. And that is what you need to do. Um, putting on the brakes, trying to, you know, take the guys out of the shoes. You better have the, the skills to do it. Not everybody does, but you'll get a lot of yards by going fast. I've seen that more than not. Uh, you have this blocking going on here. And of course, everything's legal. And I'm not sure what happens. He's just not able to wrap him up. And, of course, Brad is actually getting in the way of the next guy. We bounce off, but right here. Now, I, it looks like he's hooking his arm right there. you know, And also, he's kind of grabbing his shirt right there just a little bit. Just a little bit of a shirt grab, and he's hooking his arm. So I, that could possibly be a hold. Now, CPJ said on his uh, radio show, it's this right here. He falls down on his leg right there. That that's the hold. And you'll see the flag come right there. So, you know, definitely, possibly this arm hook. There's a there's a slight arm hook going on, and a slight pull of the jersey. But that's on the back side. It's the guy over here who sees it, so he might be able to see that. And it could be this right here. Um, and he throws the flag. I'm not sure. I don't. I don't. If it's the arm hook, then that's probably a good call. Fall on the back of the leg. That's tough. If you want to see a little little closer right here, this guy takes the B-back. This guy kind of takes the B-back quarterback, but we just pitching the outside. Everybody on the line, that's just not very good. Uh, great job right here by Lynch. Just go. He does a great job of staying on his feet, and uh, they, they, they stop it right there. Of course, they show a little bit right there. You can see right here. I don't know if that's what they're calling. I don't know if they're calling this. 
you know, right here. I think you can see his hand right there. I, I wonder if that's what they're calling, because it's not long after that. CPJ said something like this. All right. You can kind of see him being pulled down right there. Next play. First and ten. So both drives have been off on down and distance. Uh, very, you know, needed to make a, um, you know, a, a good long play in there. Been behind uh, where we need to be. So we'll go ahead and play this. Let you see it through. All right. So what what went wrong here? You know, this happened twice in a game. This is, you know, obviously uh, a be back. Um, Take, he's taking the B back. He's running right into the B back. So, you know, this is a pull. And JT is trying to pull. In fact, he must have rips it out right there. And by then, it's too late. So he clamped down on it. Um, you know, I don't know. Maybe he thought this was a dive or, you know, had a play mix up. But we have to pull it out. And if you look, this would have, you know, been a pitch. And then we would have had to take him out. You know, it's kind of hard to tell what his track would have been um, and what we would have been able to do. But if you took him out, man, this is this is gold. Um, great line. Look right here. Nice takeout right there. Look at that, Marshall. Gosh, two great off tackles on each side. Just doing an outstanding job. Just taking people to the ground. Incredible. Love it. All right, so so this is the, the the second set of downs that's behind schedule. So we'll go ahead and see what this is going to be. Let you look at it. Just a pass. Quay catches it. Of course, it looks like it's a little off. You know, it's a little behind them instead of in front of them. Great catch. Um, let's look at the pass blocking. Uh, doing a pretty good job here right there so he he does get off just in time so uh, you know, definitely we're definitely doing better than we have before but nice to be able to push him a little further back everybody else looks like um, we're doing pretty good you know I don't see the route necessarily um, so you can see he's just dragging across right here all right Next play. So we get behind, and then we make a pass play. We get near, not quite on schedule, but a lot better than we were. Go ahead and play this play through, let you see it. Oh, man, what a thing of beauty right there. All right. Getting better. So look at our blocking. This guy's obviously blocked. Looks like both guys go after this guy. They do a good job of driving him out. Now, he definitely takes to be back. Definitely takes him. Let's him go pretty quick, though. This guy right here, this is uh, going to be your, your pitch man. And we pitch it. Now, if you will notice that, you know, where, where people are going, do a great job. This guy is running real shallow, and we change the... the well, actually, we have a different blocker. This guy last time was blocking the um, the safety, and this outside uh, this tackle right here was was blocking the Mike linebacker. But this time they don't. So you can see right here, this is considerable different different than what we've seen in the past. Um, he's taken out, so the the, the Mike is taken out. Um, there's no safety running up, and you only have the pitch man. So they're kind of overloaded on this side of the field, which means devastation because we option off that guy, take the ball, got one block right there to get by. I notice he's not at, at full speed. Um, he seems to be you know, trying to see what he can do here. Let's see if I can see if he's at full speed here. Let's see if he'll let me play through here. Yeah, he's trying to get around them. And like I said, you know, a lot of times, you know, you can just force that bad angle. Um, just run. 
he's you know, trying to do something. So we'll look to see what we can see here real quick. Um, obviously, the guy's shoulders turned inwards. Takes B back. Uh, we have a good block going right here on, on this linebacker. Bam. Takes him good. This guy's a pitch guy. That's perfect. And we make a first down. So is this series good? Gosh, it seems like we're behind. We're behind, but we we have some some ammo to, in our you know some plays in our in our playbook that are you know can get us back on schedule. Some execution. We'll watch this rocket toss. Looks pretty good. Go back and what looks good about it? We're overloaded on this side. You can see right here. You can see this guy is, is coming up. Great job by Lynch here coming out and, and forces him just enough so he doesn't make the tackle. Excellent. And this guy is reading this good enough to know not to be where this guy is. All right, the next guy we're going to look at, this is uh, Divine right here doing a good job hooking his guy in. Um, he's using his uh, head and shoulders to, to kind of hook him in. And you can see that he's, you see how he's still pushing with his feet? Still pushing him? That's great. That slows him down. He's doing a good job there. Um, excellent. Love it. Now, right here, um, we got to get this off tackle around to hit this guy. This guy takes an inside lane, which is, which is good. If you take an inside lane on a rocket toss, you're going to get eight up because this guy's going to be on the outside. Now, if he takes an outside lane, which is exactly where the tackle is, um, he would be in a block, you know, much more, uh, much uh, a cleaner block. Um, and so that would have been a lot cleaner if he was going to the outside. But going to the inside, it's going to slow him down. Got one guy right here. Um, see here, no one, no one's on him. He ends up making uh, the tackle. Ground can't cause a fumble. So we'll go ahead and watch the next play here. I'm out. I have a little video trouble here, but that's all right. We'll get through it. Oh, did I miss it? Yeah. So here's the play. Speed back dive. Sorry. Yeah. There we go. So let's look at it here. Um, up close, let's look at the blocking. This guy's going in, and he's being taken out right here. You have Will doing the pulling. Um, you have some blocking going on right here. Looks good. Everybody's trying to stop this area right here, stop a dive. Will gets a hold of his guy right there, does a great job. He's pushing him, engaging him. Uh, slows him down that Diedrich can get by him. Now, this guy right here, this A-back, wants to get by and stop this guy, but this guy is not letting him. Does a great job of uh, jamming the A-back, allowing this guy to get in get in a position to try to make the play. Um, gets a hold of him, but actually throws him into the <laughs> end zone. All right, so that was a good play. A good drive. Good drive. Got, got off schedule a whole lot. So... Um, we didn't get stopped. I'm not saying that. I'm, you know, if you're ex expecting perfection, um, execution-wise, uh, there's no reason why we, you know, if 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 you do right, there's there's no defense. Um, just but whether or not we can block and whether they can avoid blocks. I think this drive is a little better. I this is what we need to see. I believe. Well, we'll look at it here. See if I can remember right. I hope I see this on Thursday night. Um, Go ahead and start this off right here. Let you see this play. Love it. Okay, so if you remember right, you can remember back to a play that looks similar to this, um, but different kind of defense setup. Remember we had the two Mike linebackers, the line, linebacker maybe right here and a linebacker back here. So we'll, we'll see what, what goes on here. Um, right there, this guy's unblocked. Takes the B back. Thomas pulls. Excellent. This guy comes in. 
He misses Thomas. He's really the pitch guy right here. No, I'm sorry. It looks like he's actually a guy who's supposed to be blocked. This guy is unblocked, and this guy is supposed to be unblocked. Um, we miss the block, but we do force him on the inside enough. It's enough on the inside, and JT's on the outside enough that JT can get around him. This guy, of course, is forcing JT to keep the ball because he's definitely covering the A back. JT makes a turn up right there. Almost gets tackled, but it gets out of it. Well, I don't want to leave that right now. Let's go back and look and see how our, our, our linemen are doing. We got a backside cut. This guy gets to cut down right here, so that's good. Um, we have Will here, our guard coming through, taking out this linebacker right there. Um, we have the tackle right here is not doing any. Will just takes that guy out, by the way. Man, that guy is just down. That's what we want to see. We have a block going on here. That'll be key right there. Allows JT to get by him. We have one that's being disengaged that actually makes a tackle right there. One tackle for making a touchdown. Um, so who's coming by? This is the backside linebacker right here who comes in um, to almost get JT. Of course, this guy is going too far in. Good job by the A-back to make sure that he's far enough in that JT can get to the outside. JT is booking it too. Um, the backside linebacker almost gets him. JT's fast enough. Blocking downfield. Can't say enough about it. Look at that. That's what you want to see right there. All right. I think, was that Jalen Camp, 81? So the blocking. Got, got a little blocking to improve there, but he did a good job. So we'll play this one through on schedule, first and 10. Let you see what this looks like. Oh, thing of beauty. Wow. All right, let's go back and look. Um, let's look at the blocking here. So we'll, this guy's unblocked. He's your uh, read for your B-back give. Of course, he takes the B-back, so we're going to keep it. Um, go out right here. This is going to be your uh, pitch read. The, Thomas forces this. And this guy could keep going out, but you know if, if you knew this last time, Thomas took a really – he's coming up and you – know, Thomas would turn the corner right here, and he was kind of attacking – right in here but now he's tacking a little further out he's pushed a point of attack a little further out he runs right at the guy you know i think the guy is supposed to actually take the a back but he runs right at the guy and he forces the the pitch and that's what you really want you really want to get it on the outside the guy takes it doing a great job so let's look here got a block by the b back going good let's look at your your guard and tackle right here they're going to go through Take this guy, good enough, stops that guy. Right here, this is a great one. I, I put a vine up. People said, hey, it's not perfect. Well, gosh, <laughs> I like what happened. You know, people are saying the B-back causes this motion. That the B-back's actually hitting him. But if you look right here, I don't really think the B-back is actually hitting him. I think, one, he's being jammed by this guy. But once Freddy gets off this guy, he hits this guy, and... It's this second push right here. Right here, it's this push right there that makes that guy tumble backwards. He's really doing a great job. Makes him tumble backwards, and he falls. Kind of gets in the way of number 41. That's perfect. Um, these blocks right here, again, they're going to the inside. Actually, this guy's just trying to push off. And he can't. He's slowing him down. That's slowing him down. Trips him up a little bit. Um... Trips him up a little bit. Slows him down just enough to get to the outside. In fact, that, that seems like forever. These guys don't, don't make the tackle. He's, he's going full blast. He's just going to run right there. Um, great blocking. Mike Lamb Davis, you can block. Um, look right here. You got Braun. Let's see if we can see what Braun. That's Braun right there um, that took this guy. But then he's downfield. Look, he's up. He's running. Practically keeping up. So that's that play. Good play. I really like this drive.
We'll just drive a little better than last drive. All right. Try to get to the last of this drive. It's a lot longer than I anticipated. I wonder if anybody's going to watch this. <laughs> we'll have a few people watch it, I'm sure. Um, I actually already did this one time and decided not to post it. Didn't like how it turned out. and I like this one a little bit further. I think I, I have a lot better understanding what happened these two drives uh, this time around. Um, we'll play this play out and let you see it. Looks like just a dive. And I think what happens right here is um, we end up tripping right here. You know, we're, we're giving ground on, the, on this particular one, and his leg hits right there. I don't know if it's JT's foot. I don't know if it's uh, Freddie's foot. Um, but right here is the hole, and uh, you can look. We, we would have made some decent yards, but they definitely had some defenders there. Uh, anything to look at? That, you know, that's awesome right there. He does a pretty decent job, but he does a good job of actually staying on his feet. Got a good block going on right here. Would have prevented him from making the tackle. Uh, anything else? Doing good and pushing that guy on the inside. Great job right there. Um, cutting this guy down. We'll go ahead and look at the next play. First time, a little behind schedule on this drive. Let's see what happens to get us back on the schedule. We'll play this play out. That's a dive. So we try it again. So let's look at what happens this time. This time, Freddie cuts this guy. So he kind of gets through, and he's, he's grabbing, but he misses. But he's now not being pushed back. Um, let's see here. Will's firing out. I'm going to take his guy. Pushes him pretty good. We're on this guy, and I think this is probably we don't quite win this battle because he gets a hand on him right here. Um, we're still pushing. Look at Will. Will hits this guy. He's pushing. He's pushing. He actually pushes him down. There's a good chance, um, you know, you win this battle. This goes a little differently because he's pushing him. Actually, he would have pushed him kind of into this guy right here. Um... Great job. Now, we're sealing this off. It's a little too fast. Um, we're not quite where we need to be, but it slows them down enough. If, uh, again, like I said, win this battle, push this in a different direction, um, it might have turned out differently. All right. Are we on track here? Third and five, a little bit behind schedule. Um, go ahead and let you see this play, and it's just a <laughs> penalty. So I really like using different snap counts. I'm glad they're doing that. So we'll go ahead and unbalance line on that side right here. Oh, yeah. I like this one. Why do I like this one? Because I like blocking. Parker Braun takes it to this guy. See this guy right here? Watch him. Follow him. He's running. He actually, look at this, puts a hand right there. It's going to knock someone out of the way, <laughs> on the way. That's, that is just so good. He's putting a hand on that guy, and he's going to hit this guy. And he is going to push him in the ground. Just takes him out. That's awesome. This guy kind of overruns the lane, so Deidre gets by him. These two guys have him, right? But these feet are churning. In fact, some of this guy is tackling him, pushing him into the end zone. Touchdown. All right, well, that's it. Um, Clemson game tomorrow. I hope we see some, some great drives like this. Um, definitely going to... I really believe it comes down to can we handle their defensive uh, tackles. Uh, what, uh, what, what Vanderbilt ha was doing, they were using a lot of their linebackers to try to stop the dive. They weren't depending on their d defensive tackles. If you can stop the dive with the defensive tackles alone, you've really done half the battle. Uh, that frees up your linebackers to head outside, head outside hard, hard and get there for the Q, QB to be there or for the A-back, whether that's on a rocket toss or on a triple option or um, speed option, so on. It helps you get to the outside uh, quickly. Um, I think the game's going to depend. You know, can we beat that defensive tackle? And the sec second one is, uh, after we defeat the defensive tackles, um, can you uh, can the off 
the offensive tackles get to the Mike linebacker? Can they get to him and, and, and stop him? So that's key one and key two. And, of course, it's, the out, it's blocking. It's blocking that wins. Um, if we have guys who can, who can make a guy miss, then blocking isn't as important. Um, but we know that you know, what you'd want is everything to work together. You know, a block works and the guy's free to run. Or a block por- partially works and he's able to make the guy who gets by it missed. Or if it's a completely missed block, you just uh, you run as hard as you can and get by him. Or if you have the skills, you know, you can pull the guy out of his shoes. Um, really excited about the game tomorrow. Uh, defense, you know, I don't do defensive film. I just don't know it well enough. Uh, you know, I can look at it and see kind of what went wrong, but I don't know the play and, you know, what people are called to do. Uh, but that doesn't mean I don't love our defense. You know, our, all of our student athletes put in the hard work. Um, I just have a little bit of more insight on, on the offense. And, of course, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are a lot more studied and have the better language and could probably call things a little better than myself. But I'm just having fun doing this. All right, that's all I have for you tonight. And I uh, hope to see you at uh, the game on uh, Thursday.